This tutorial will show how to generate professional looking reports in SAP 2000. SAP 2000 offers two ways to create reports. The create report command, which when using the default settings can generate a report containing all model information, and the advanced report writer command, which allows the user to tailor the look and content of the report. For this tutorial, we will use this analyzed model of a simple planar frame with two load cases, dead and quake. First, we will create a report using the create report command. However, before we click on this command, we will review the parameters set in the report setup command. On the report setup form, the report contents file option specifies an XML file that controls what goes into the report and how the report is laid out. We are going to use the default file shipped with the program, which contains all input and output, but users can create their own custom report contents file by following the instructions found under the help documentation command and selecting the Report Contents XML File Manual. This document describes each complex and simple element and their relationship. The default file looks something like this. The report setup form also lets us set how the tables are to be formatted, what output type to use, if the report should be for a subgroup of the model, the page orientation, cover and content page settings, as well as control over what load patterns and cases to use along with advanced output controls. We will leave all the options in their default settings. With the options set in the report setup form, a report may be quickly generated by going to the file create report command. Clicking on this command, and then naming the report file, creates a report containing a cover sheet, table of contents, all input data, and results. Another option for creating reports is by going to the File Advanced Report Writer command. This command allows us to specify just what tables to display and augment the report with additional text and pictures. Reports are created from information contained in database files, and these files may already exist or be created at the time when you generate the report, which is what we will do in this case. Next, we have the option of choosing which tables to include. Under Load Case Definitions, we will select Load Case Definitions, and under Connectivity Data, we will select Joint Coordinates. For the analysis results, under Joint Output, all we want are displacements. Clicking the OK button creates the database 
and the list of tables available is displayed under Report Setup. Note again that we have joint coordinates, joint displacements, load case definitions, and program control. Program control is automatically sent out. In addition to the database tables, a number of other items may be added to the report, such as section headings, text, pictures, and breaks. We will start by adding a section heading. Note that the text may be in any language, which allows you to identify your input and output in a language other than English. Next, we will add our first table, Joint Coordinates. The program knew to locate the table after the section heading due to the insertion point. Next, add the load case table. Before we add the displacements table, insert a page break. We will also add some text. Now we can add the joint displacements. If an item is incorrectly positioned in the report, you may move it up or down the list by using the arrow keys. Next, we will look at some of the format options found under the Report Setup button. First is the database table formats, where you can use program defaults or a user-defined file. You also have control over the page setup, such as the size of the paper and margin spacings. The font setup lets you control the fonts for the various headings, titles, text, and tables. The report can include a cover page with selected project information, but for this report, we will skip the cover. Lastly, it is always a good idea to save the name report so that you may edit it later if need be. Before we create the report, let's review our options for file type. The report file may be created in rich text format, plain text, or in HTML. We will use rich text format for this example. Now we can create the report, which we will name Advanced Report. As we had requested, the report automatically opens in Microsoft Word, displaying the tables for joint coordinates, load cases, and joint displacements. With our report done, we can now leave the Create Custom Report form. However, upon further review, we decide that we wish to add a picture to our report. We may do so by going back to the Advanced Report Writer command and opening our previously saved report named Report. For this example, we will add a picture right after the page break. To do this, Highlight the page break in the list and click on the After Selected Item option. Then click on the Picture button and we will import a bitmap file named Deform Shape. 
which shows the quake case deformed shape. We may add a caption to this picture. And then control the caption alignment, the picture size, and the picture alignment. Note that the picture file has been added to our list. Clicking on the Create Report button and selecting Advanced Report displays our new report. With the picture and caption added at the top of the third page. This concludes this tutorial on creating reports.